You watching this video, would you consider yourself a high value man? Today, we are about to find out. What is a high value man? Here we go. First and foremost, a high value man really understands that he has a purpose in life that is bigger than just him. He is not driven by his own personal, individual, or selfish desires. One of the most important things to understand about high value men are traditional and family oriented. So they want a wife, they want children, they want that family unit that they can really be proud of. Not only do they just want a family, though, they really want to be in a position as a man to provide for their family, protect their family, take care of their family. This is one of the number one motivations for high value men, and it's one of their ultimate goals. This is why if you want a high value man, you're going to have to understand he's going to be busy. He's going to be very hardworking, ambitious, goal oriented, driven. His ultimate goal in life is to provide a good life for his family. So he is going to be busy. If I'm not trying to get married or I'm not trying to have this so-called lifestyle that she's talking about, does that mean I'm not high value though? I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments, bro. Let me know. They are very selective with who they spend their time with and they do not waste their time or energy on relationships that jeopardize them or their marriage or their family. Right. High value men are also not careless with their time or their bodies. One of the ultimate goals in life for a high value man is establishing that financial freedom. This is extremely important to him and he's going to work very hard to make sure that it happens. Being able to financially support his family is one of the number one goals for him and he's in a place in his life where his his wife can choose to work outside of the home if she wants to, but she does not have to. He is able to provide for his family completely on his own. A high value man. Wait, really so you can't be a high value man if you you can't I'll have your wife be a stay at home wife? Is that what she's saying? One thing that she forgot to mention in this video is that a high value man is a man who provides value. It's really that simple. A high value man is not a man who drives a bunch of foreign cars or a guy who just has a, a shitload of money because you can have a lot of guys like that but that ain't shit i'm gonna talk about what is a high value man when it comes to dealing with women what does a high value man do when he's approaching a woman a high value man is flirting with the woman when he's approaching her if you don't already know this flirting is the ticket to avoiding the friend zone if you're approaching a, a, a woman and you're talking to her you're trying to make something happen with her and you're not flirting with her you're acting like giving the other guy telling her that i'm just gonna sit here and be your friend i don't we don't need to do anything sexual i'm not interested in any of that i just want to be a platonic friend and she's gonna take that for granted and, and enjoy the free attention while she can and then never speak to you again you have to let women know that you're interested in them you have to flirt with them you have to because a high value man wants to know if a woman is feeling him so what he's gonna do is he's gonna flirt with her and find out that this woman likes him because you see women want to have a situation where they have a guy here they're flirting with them they're going back and forth the conversation is good and they're having a good time in order for a man to bring that value to the woman he has to first build up the courage to flirt with her in the first place which is now he's bringing that value of dealing with a man who's not scared who's giving her a good interaction a good play for a good fun interaction now in order to flirt with women successfully when you're in, in a conversation with them you need to let them know what you like about them sexually and non-sexually so an example might be you just met this girl on the street and, and you're like oh damn you know that's a really nice scarf you're wearing that scarf looks really nice on you it really enhances your beauty or something like that we need to get out together and get a drink or you know i'm sitting here i'm talking to you i just noticed that you got the most gorgeous eyes i can't wait to look deeply into your eyes before I kiss you. That right there is a non-sexual and a sexual compliment. What are the don'ts when you're approaching a woman? Never react negatively to a woman rejecting you. You approach the woman, right? You talk to her, you give her a sexual and a non-sexual compliment. You go to ask her out and she says, no, I'm not interested or no, I have a boyfriend. You do not want to react negatively. You don't want to start cursing at her. You don't want to be trying to convince her, trying to persuade her into going out with you. No, just say, oh, okay, cool. Have yourself a nice day and keep walking about your business to the next girl. When you continue to get at a woman who is not feeling you, who's made it clear that she's not interested, that is now harassment. You don't want to be that guy that women are looking at as this beta male that can't control his emotions that can't take rejection once a woman reject you and you're out here you're still in the situation you are now low value man a high value man is busy he's got other women to go holler at. he's got shit to do he values his time a lot so he's got no time sitting here trying to persuade and convince a woman why she should go out with him if you're that high value guy she should already know you the shit and she should already want to go out with you you shouldn't have to persuade her you shouldn't have to convince her let's talk about the phone and the text game 
The do's is to only call women when you're trying to set up a date. You don't want to sit out here, be this woman's emotional pen pal, be out here having endless phone conversations about nothing. A high value man does not have the time to sit here and converse with a woman about a bunch of bullshit about, oh, how's your day? How did this happen? Blah, 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 blah. He doesn't give a fuck. You're displaying low value when you're out here spending all this time talking to a woman. High value men don't believe in just giving women free attention for the sake of it. You don't want to respond when she's not responding. A conversation over the phone with a woman is supposed to be like ping pong. It's supposed to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You all are both supposed to be asking each other questions and you all are both supposed to be answering and keeping the conversation flowing. What will happen a lot of times is that you will be texting this woman and she won't even be responding. And it'll just look like you're talking to yourself. You send like three, five messages and she didn't even respond to none. It just looks like you're talking to yourself now. That makes you look desperate and weak and low value. She's thinking to herself, well, if this man was truly high value, he wouldn't be trying to beg me like this to get with him. He would have other women to go to. He would have other shit going on. Why does he have all this much time? What's going on with it? I thought this was a high value, busy man. What, what is this? See, there's the contradiction and that makes you unattractive. What are the do's and don'ts of a high value man when going on a date? Okay, the do's is you want to create sexual tension with the woman while on the date. He's giving her that opportunity and that experience of, I'm this guy, I'm this high value guy here. I'm not afraid to flirt with you. I'm not afraid to talk sexual with you and build up that sexual tension. That's that value that, that man's displaying because majority of guys do not have the courage to build sexual tension with women, which is why when you're the high value guy, you have the upper hand of having that courage and that confidence to give the woman that type of interaction because women want to have those interactions guys she wants to leave it up to you to lead that interaction i'm telling y'all nothing will happen until you let the woman know that you're into her sexually women are not forward like men are majority of women are not generally forward like that if you want some shit to happen you want some shit to go down you're gonna have to make it happen and that's you display that high value because you have the courage and the masculinity to make it happen what you do not want to do while on a date with a woman as a high value man is spend too much money on the date you see this is where the contradiction happens now see she's talking about a high value man supposed to be rich supposed to have all this money even if you are you do not want to spend no more than 40 dollars on the first date now if this woman is your girlfriend your wife or your fiance a woman you've been seeing a long time there's a little bit of an exception to spend a bit more money on her because she has earned this position of being your wife or girlfriend or fiance you don't need to try to prove anything to the woman you want the woman to get to know you not the amount of money you have you want her to get to know you and and, and like you for you not for the money you have my g you want to give the, uh, the woman an opportunity to deal with this high value masculine man not money a lot of y'all will, will, will complain that women use you for your money you women use you uh, for this and that but you spend all this money and she made you, you know, she didn't make you do anything you allowed this shit to happen by bragging and boasting and leading with your wallet you allowed this shit to happen not her click the video on the screen man to find out the things women love but will never ask for